What follows is a celestial phenomenon that is attracting attention worldwide. It concerns ongoing sightings of luminous star-like phenomenon, too large and bright to be confused with a known celestial body, while exhibiting changes in size, location, color, and magnitude, as well as duration. These attributes rule out the possibility of near-Earth objects, asteroids, comets, and supernovas as potential sources. Beginning in January 2009, sightings have been reported from Norway, Costa Rica, the United States, Ukraine, Japan, scores of countries to date. There are many newspaper and TV reports. UFO sightings may be the stuff of films and TV shows, but they keep turning up. Edvaldo Gutes, do domingo, e um objeto voador não identificado chamou a atenção de moradores do conjunto universitário. Quando vi uma luz muito grande, muito resplandecente, que não é normal verla no cielo. And YouTube reflects hundreds of videos capturing the event. Sightings to date don't correlate with sky maps, so are known to science. Celestial phenomena such as these are unprecedented and yet, with consistent reporting over these many months, an explanation remains elusive. Another element of the story makes it equally compelling. Many witnesses report that they deeply question the meaning and purpose of what they have seen and are amazed by the sheer beauty of the spectacle. Yet, there is one man who believes he knows the true meaning of this star and in fact predicted its appearance in December of 2008. Benjamin Krem, British author, editor, and artist. Beyond the science and even the spectacle, his perspective on this phenomenon makes the most compelling aspect of all. Four great star-like luminaries of gigantic power. They are not stars, but they look like stars. You can also see an interesting sequence of photographs of the star from all over the world and it changes shape. It becomes to look more like a spacecraft than a star, and then back to a star, and so on. It depends how deeply you zoom into it, and you will find people who don't even know what they're looking at. Say, what is this? I've never seen anything like it. It's gigantic, it's changing color. Look, look, look. It's extraordinary. There's that fire coming out of it. Look at it. It's moving, it's moving, it's disappearing. And these stars are the herald of Maitreya. According to British author Benjamin Krem, Maitreya, a teacher of extraordinary stature, is here in the world to inspire us to make the fundamental changes that will usher in an unprecedented golden age of brotherhood and justice. But it comes for all, all religions and no religions. Maitreya is not concerned whether you're Christian or Buddhist or Hindu or whatever. Christians await him as the Christ. Muslims await him as the Imam Mahdi. Hindus await him, await him as Krishna returned once again or Kalki Avatar. There are two names for him. And Buddhists await him as Maitreya Buddha. He is emerging now and to herald his emergence, he has had implanted in our skies four great spacecraft, gigantic spacecraft, and they come from various planets of our solar system, sent from Mars or Venus, or Jupiter, and another planet, four of them north, south, east, and west, stars in the heaven, as the three wise men who came to, to, to the birth of Jesus in Bethlehem, came from the east, they followed, as it says in the Bible, a star. Well, that star was a spaceship. It was not a star. Stars don't move in our atmosphere. It was a spaceship which went on before the, the, the masters, the three masters who came to 
welcome Jesus through whom the Christ would work into the world. Wherever we are, we have the possibility of seeing the star. And he wishes that people would talk about them openly. Not that they believe it, but that they know what, they see something that's happening and want to know more. And some who will see what's happening and don't want to know more, but who dismiss the whole thing. But he wants a debate about it. He wants people to debate the meaning and the purpose of this extraordinary thing. This time, Maitreya has come himself. For the first time in human history, the world teacher has come himself, here in dense physical body in the world. This has never happened before. This is a unique situation. Momentous. <laughs>